From the best of my knowledge, there's no one that has seen albino spider monkeys in the field. It's very beautiful, but it's also telling a pretty sad story about the species. I am a primatologist. I have been working with spider monkeys over 15 years, and I run this project in San Juan de Carare about the conservation of brown spider monkeys. Spider monkeys rely very strongly on large mature forests that have enough fruits that are their main diet. If these monkeys are very important for the forest as seed dispersers, but they're also very charismatic. They're the largest primates we have in, in northern South America. You can still find some patches of forest in northern Colombia, but it's very difficult that you'll be able to find a forest that has a healthy population of brown spider monkeys nowadays. Being able to study these primates is a long-term process. So every day brings small surprises. You never know what's going to happen. Because I had heard uh, that there was a monkey that was not quite uh, the same as the rest of the study group. So we were going to see what was going on and when we got to the forest and actually saw them, it was a big surprise. It looked much like if it was another species. When we got to the forest and saw them, it was completely white. It was quite strange because none of the spider monkeys alive today are white. What was more surprising was that a couple months later, his brother was born and he was also white. He was also an albino. At the beginning, it was just something intriguing. Why are these monkeys white? Why are they albinos? Uh, but we never thought very much beyond it. Albino spider monkeys are telling us uh, that probably these populations are genetically inbred. What we're having is a story where these monkeys that we're seeing are really destined to extinction because they're not going to have enough variability to cope with the changing processes of this whole landscape. threat to brown spider monkeys is the transformation of forests into cattle ranching and agricultural fields. Habitat is being lost at very fast rates. Very few people have seen albino spider monkeys. These are the only albinos that have been seen in the wild. This is a quite unique event to find not only one, but two of them uh, in nature. It's a beautiful primate telling a pretty sad story about the probable fate of these primates if we don't do anything to preserve them or save them. We're right in one of the last moments where I think we could do something to preserve not only these primates, 
through their conservation, we're protecting a lot of their habitat, a lot of the biodiversity of Northern South America. We could do something, but we need to act now. These populations are in, in very, very high risk of extinction in the near future.